The creators of Help Catalonia Save Europe decided to make a new video that's entitled Welcome Catalonia. Just like with Help Catalonia Save Europe, this video makes a series of claims that are patently false. In this video, I'm gonna go step by step to show you guys just how wrong those claims are in this video. Today, the history of Europe has changed again. A new country is claiming its place, Catalonia. The supposed country of Catalonia is not recognized in the world. It's not recognized by the UN, it's not recognized by the US, it's not recognized by the European Union. Nobody recognized Catalonia as an independent country. The reason why nobody is recognizing you guys is because you guys were breaking the law of the land. In the constitutional referendum of 1978, the vast majority of Catalans, as well as the rest of Spain, agreed upon the current day constitution in Spain. That means the vast majority of Catalans who voted for that law in that time period agree with Article 2 of the Spanish Constitution, which says that the entire nation has to vote in order for Catalonia to have independence. Because the international community recognized Spanish law, that is why nobody recognized you guys as a country. We are a people that for years have wanted to live as a normal nation. We have tried everything, and we have always been met with the same response. No. Time and time again. The reason why you guys get no all the time is because the examples that you're about to list are in fact illegal. Our parliament unanimously approved a law to protect our most vulnerable citizens. It was repealed. Back in 2014, Catalonia passed something that is known as the Customer Code of Catalonia. The main reason why it was rejected is because it went against the Customer Code of Catalonia. Because the Customer Code has policies against energy policy, that's why it was rejected. We also passed a law seeking gender equality, like in Norway, Sweden, or Denmark. But the Spanish Constitutional Court, at the request of Rajoy's government, repealed that one too. Oh yes, gender equality. Everyone's favorite pastime topic. I mean, I need to talk about gender equality in movies, in comic books, in the media. Just women are just so fucking oppressed and so disadvantaged in life compared to men. As a matter of fact, let's talk about gender equality because women are just so unequal in this country and the rest of the world. By the way, the Spanish government did not suspend the law because they're the big, scary, male-dominated patriarchy. They suspended it because labor laws in regards to equality were already covered by the state. My main question about gender equality is this, just why in the fuck are women almost always at the forefront of discussion? Like nobody really discussed the concerns and issues when it comes down to men activities. In Spain, they have something that is known as the gender violence law. And basically under that gender violence law in Spain, women can falsely accuse men of rape and the court there will believe the woman and the guy gets sent to jail for that false rape accusation. And there are stories in Spain where the same men get sued by the same woman and they almost always go back to jail every single time they get falsely accused of rape. So why is it that feminists do not pay attention when it comes down to actual inequality, but pay attention to something frivolous like man spreading on a bus? It's so funny that you guys mentioned the Scandinavian countries, mostly because they're kind of notorious for their kind of, you know, Bad feminism. Oh Sweden, oh Sweden, oh Sweden, oh Sweden. How the great country just fell down. The same thing happened to the nuclear energy tax inspired by the German legislation. Repealed. The energy tax violates something that is known as the LOFCA. The LOFCA basically says that the taxpayer cannot pay twice for the same activities. And so it goes on and on. That's right, the illegal activities that have been done by the separatists goes on and on and on your list. Creon taxation on banks, repealed. 
The Catalan tax on bank deposits was suspended because of 161.2 of the Spanish Constitution. 161.2 says that the Spanish government needs five months to decide to rectify or lift away a law. The law on social security repealed. They suspended the Catalan social security stuff because they thought that it had links to the independence movement. As many as 25 essential laws for the welfare of our people have been repealed. The response has always been the same, no. The main reason why they keep rejecting you guys' laws is because every single last law that you listed were illegal and against the law. If you guys want legal change in Catalonia, do it the legal way and not the illegal way. Just like the response to all the proposals for political negotiation that we have made until now. Having reached this point, our parliament demanded an approved referendum of self-determination, like in Scotland. Another no. They declared it illegal. That is because the referendum was against Spanish law, in particular Article 2 of the Spanish Constitution, which was voted by the majority of Catalans back in 1978. You simply cannot compare the UK to Spain. For starters, unlike Spain, the UK does not have a constitution. As far as the whole entire issue with Catalonia and Scotland on independence, basically in the UK, they have a process where they have parliaments and the House of Commons to vote on whether or not they are allowed to have independence through laws and legislation, whereas Catalonia had to abide by the Spanish constitution. Now they deny it. Many of those pictures have uh, been proven to be uh, fake pictures. Really? So you're saying that those pictures that people saw of Spanish police intervening aggressively in polling stations are all fake pictures? They are trying to rewrite history. They are trying to erase the violation of human rights and democracy from our minds. Where do I begin on this one? People are not denying the whole entire event that happened on 1-0. People are saying that there were a lot of fake stuff that happened during the event of 1-0. There was a woman who basically had a cast on in one image and then she was dragged down by the police by another image but did not have the cast on while she was being dragged down. There was an image of a police officer that was on the ground getting grabbed by somebody else. However, that image came directly from 2008. There's another image of a guy with blood all over his face. However, it turns out that image came from 2012. Another example is a kid with a bloody face. Again, that image came from 2012. What's even more strange is the fact that the Catalan government actually added people who suffer from anxiety on the same level as people who got injured during 1-0. Apparently over 800 people got injured, but I don't know why they would actually add people who suffer from anxiety. Instead of allowing a peaceful population to create its own progressive future, our choices have been narrowed, blocked, and denied at every turn. So today, we choose the only path that remains open for us, to declare independence, backed by our citizens and approved by the majority of our parliament. That is complete bullshit. The vast majority of Catalans do not support your referendum. 46% of Catalans do not want to leave Spain, and about 29% of Catalans do want to leave Spain. Not to mention, only 2 million out of 7 million Catalans went out to vote. How is it fair to say that the vast majority of Catalans wanted independence if a huge chunk of them did not go out and vote? It's also worth noting that prior to October, the results of the Catalan referendum were already predetermined by the government. Through an audio recording by the Spanish police, it turns out that the Catalan separatists predetermined the results way back in September before the voting even happened. Here, now, we are leaving the birth of a new European country. Only in your dreams.